I was sent this solar panel controller to test it out and get my honest opinion of the product. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box, check it all out and put it to use. All right, so this is the charge controller out of the box. You're seeing the main unit. This is the main charge controller. This comes with also a sensor. This is a temperature sensor probe that plugs in to the bottom of this controller. This is some mounting hardware. So if you want to mount it to some sheetrock or wood or something, it comes with the little anchors and the screws to do that. Then it comes with the manual. There's a lot of good information in here. This is a 100 amp system. So that means the max ampage that's going to go through this unit is 100 amps. It can also go up to 48 volts. So if you look on the side of this unit, it just gives you a quick reference. So based upon how you're setting up your batteries and how you're doing your solar panels, you're going to have a specific amount of wattage that this controller can handle. You got to understand how you're setting up your system so you can get the max usage out of this controller. This is an auto switching 12 volt, 24 volt or 48 volt system. Again, this is one of their nicer systems. I love the fact that it can do all of these different voltages. If you know how to do these things right, going with a higher voltage just gets you more out of your panels and your controllers. But that's enough about this. Let's go ahead and get this thing tested. I need to get some panels and some batteries hooked up to this so we can go through the different settings and the different hookups that this comes with. So if you wanna see the bottom, so if you look here, there are screws in there and those screws right there are to allow you to push your wires down here into the bottom of the system. Here is more ports. You got two USB ports here and a COM port. Here is your temperature sensor port. Again, there's just some details on the side that help you out and a lot of ventilation and looks like two fans right there in the front. So this looks like it's meant to be mounted vertically to get the best performance, the best temperature performance out of it. And that's what I plan to do. So I have solar panels that I plan to install on my RV. And this right here is going to be a great controller, I feel, to run those panels. But we're going to do some testing with the panels and the batteries just to see what I can get through this. All right. So this is what we got going on here. You see that I'm pumping in about 79 to 80 volts. Now we don't have a ton of ampage coming in right now because the sunlight right now is not optimal, but I'm mainly just trying to test to make sure this controller is working well and it's working the way I expect it to with the panels. This thing flips back and forth. You can see the battery's 100% and it flips back and forth to the different views. So on the top left here, you see the voltage as you see up here, it's going to flip through. It's going to show you that my batteries are in pretty good charge state. 32 degrees, hundred percent. And then here's the load voltage, 55.2, no amps. I'm not pulling anything out of load right now. 55.2 volts is the battery voltage. Now there are some settings that you can do here. This button here, if you want to click through, you'll see that it's blinking. It actually lets you use the plus and minus to set the voltage to stop charging, the voltage to start charging, and the voltage to turn off load when the batteries get too low. So that's all protection there for your batteries. You don't want to overcharge them. You don't want them to get too low and overload them. And all of that setting is here for you to do based upon what type of batteries you have and what their voltage is. It also has a setting up here where you can set its intervals on when it's going to be charging. And again, you do all of that through this button here and then the plus or minus, and then you also have a reset down here. You'll see they have, this is the solar panel section, the battery panel and where you would hook up your load. And again, I've just got them testing right now hooked up here in the bottom so I can get a good test. I've used my multimeter here to make sure that I'm getting proper voltage to the batteries in it for a charge state and that's doing good too so i think everything seems to be doing the way it's supposed to be doing and i'm pretty happy with the results well i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you would do that that really helps me out thank you very much for watching i appreciate it y'all take care